G'day guys and welcome to this quick Supercoach video. Um, Supercoach AFL tweeted out a video uh, 45 minutes ago uh, interviewing Max Gorn, asking what Melbourne players we need to lock into our Supercoach sides. Um, it's a pretty interesting video. He goes over some rookies that he reckons are a chance to debut round one. Um, some players that he thinks in there in the D side you should look at and maybe some, I think he only suggests one to avoid, but we'll have a look. Which player should we pick from Melbourne? Well, uh, Supercoach is a different game because like, I reckon Bailey Fritz, but Bailey Fritz won't score high because he gets five touches, five goals. Like that scores, but not well. So the reason he's recommending, well, why he's got so much high praise for Bailey Fritz is he's backing Bailey Fritz to win the Coleman. Um, and he's saying, like, you know, he can kick five in a game, but it's off minimal touches, so he doesn't think it's going to score too well. Um, uh, Luke Jackson, if you're ready to put the money in, but he's, he's a pretty expensive young kid. So Luke Jackson was their Melbourne's number one draft pick last year. Pretty sure about that. Um, I, don't, I haven't seen a lot of talk about him because he's a ruck. So look, nearly 200 grand. And he's, I mean, most people are going to have a ruck bench option that's not going to play because they want to do the loophole option between Gorn and Grundy. But if you're someone who's not Picking Max Gorn. Um, I mean, I suppose you can not loophole anyone, really. Um, but if you're not picking Gorn, you're picking someone else, and you've got the money spare, he's someone you could definitely look at um, to make you some money. Um, and if he's going to play all ga like all year, um, yeah, he, he, he could earn you that money and be someone yeah, that could potentially be an option for you if you're not going the Gorn route and you're making saving a bit of money. Christian Petrarca, I'm sure everyone's got him. He's a bit of a on the borderline. Can this one, this, this bit's interesting. Um, so he talks about Petrarca and then the <laughs> interviewer asks if we can oh, trust no, him. Do you think he's going to have a big seat? But he's been a half forward flanker for seven years. He's about to play in the middle, so surely that's going to increase him. So he's been a half forward flanker and he's going to play in the middle. So I think a lot of, I think the Marsh series and stuff showed that yeah, Petrarca is going to play midfield time. 100% game time in the middle? Uh, you're, he'll start there. I mean, if he starts going poorly or we start going poorly, it might change, but he'll start. 100% game time, she's asked. So she's asking the good questions. Um, and he said if he's going to start there, and if he's going poorly, they'll, um, they'll um, put him somewhere else. Uh, I'm very overpriced this year. Uh. So that's interesting. Who should we avoid this year? And he says he's very overpriced. Uh, he could either be being humble or it might be like a bit of a a uh, sort of a subtle hint, maybe an inside bit of goss saying like, oh, maybe I'm not I'm not the man to pick um, this year. Could be a stocks off top. top no, no. Um, <laughs> who should we avoid? Ah, oh, who's injury prone? They're never good. But actually, but... Don't get socked, and I've, I'm tipping Bailey Fritz to win the Coleman, but I don't reckon he'll score well super coach-wise. He just, he's he's five kicks, five goals, that's what he does, and I don't know what that is off the top of your head. It's, is that 60, 70 points? Yeah, so maybe him. So back to the Bailey Fritz, suggesting to avoid him due to um, not scoring too high. So maybe his role's changed at D's. Maybe they're... Because I remember having him in as a rookie... Um, and he actually scored half decent. He was sort of when he started coming off the back flank, I think that's when he started scoring. Um, if you had a super coach team, who would you pick first from any club, including Melbourne? So I'd pick one in the draft. Well, I mean, so he's talking about draft super coach here. You got to set and forget with the rucks, don't you? Um... Love that set and forget in the rucks. I live by that theory. <laughs> oh no, I think I pick Brody. <laughs> Brody hasn't missed a game for almost six years. You'd almost back that in. So I'll go Brody. So um, Brody Grundy for him in draft. Which player from Melbourne, whether they're He's humble. or second Humble man. Year, might be headed for a breakout season, you think? Well, I won't give you pick three because that's a bit boring. And Cozzy also looks like he'll play pretty early. So that's also relatively boring. I think what you want... So he's saying it's boring for him to suggest Luke Jackson's going to play, which is him saying he's going to play. And then... Uh, Cozzy, which is that fella Pickett. You think he's got two names? I mean, is someone you can get for about so they're going to play. He's is that, can you still get eighty ninety thousand? Or is inflation inflation's cooked that now? Well, eighty ninety thousand rookies. Wouldn't that be fucking nice? 
one oh two. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and not to mention those one oh two rookies are fucking scarce and none of them are playing. All the ones that are playing are um, fucking dear as poison. Chandler. Why is that? Right, uh, let's have a look at Ch Cade Chandler. 195 grand, and he's a forward. 0% of teams. 195 grand. And we'll see why he suggests. Because uh, uh, there seems to be maybe a spot as a small half forward in our team at the moment. So he's saying there's a spot as a small forward like in D's side. Been around and Charlie Spargo, Alex Neil Bullen, they're all there. But K Chandler's one as well, and he's and he's although had a sore arm the last couple of weeks, he's playing some good footy. Which draftee or young players are in the mix for round one? Yeah, so Jackson will be around the mark. Cosie will be around the mark. Mitch Brown could potentially be. Mitch Brown, another. Uh, around the mark. Look at him in a sec. I'll get through this video. Tomlinson Langdon, I'd say, without talking to Goody and making his mind up for him, I'd say Tomlinson and Langdon would be in there. So there's five new names. The two bottom ones were the draftees in Jackson and Cosie, so maybe them two. Should we pick Max Gorn? <laughs> Jury's out this year. He wants to say. He wants um, to say yes. I don't know. I, I, I'm a big Grundy fan, and I, there's some other very good rucks in Marshall and Goldstein and Riley O'Brien and uh, Steph Martin. I'm a big Steph Martin man, so um, who knows? So he hasn't <laughs> doesn't want to say himself. Wants to take the humble route, but he suggests some other potential ruck options in Marshall O'Brien, Martin. Uh, Grun, uh, Ma, uh, fucking Goldstein. So he suggests some other guys. If you, again, if you're not going to go the Gorn route, there's some other Melbourne potential would options. Themselves in their own super coach team. Tracks captain. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he made him captain of his own team. <laughs> um, 38 of three. He's still talking. He, 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 he likes to be called CP5 around the club, based after CP3, which is an American basketball. I don't know his own, but um, Chris Paul. Yeah. So he's changed his name to CP38 and three this, for the last few weeks. So. That's um, funny. You have to be happy now. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Rightio. So, it was a bit of fun, that video. But, yeah, like I said, he's got Kay Chandler as someone who's potential. Luke Jackson said he's going to play Pickett. Which, do I have him in my side? No, I don't. Oh, this video is taking forever to load. I mean, this website. Uh, oh yeah, nice. Um, but yeah, he kind of takes the humble route. Doesn't want to uh, say himself. Um, and yeah, suggests a few rookies that might play. And he's saying Petrarca is going to uh, play midfield time. He's going to start there. So that's so he's definitely someone. I, th I think a lot of people have sort of. Looked at him this year, especially after the thing. What the fuck is going on? Is my internet off? Oh, well, it just loaded and I just... So we'll look at Mitch Brown. Oh, well, I'm an idiot. That was that guy. I thought that was a new rookie. <laughs> he was the one that used to play for Essendon, and they picked him up. Um, but yeah, so I don't know how to say that name. Not even going to try. 157 grand should play. Um, Petrarca. How do you spell it? That's oh, a PET. 440. Very good mid-price option if he's going to play midfield time. Um, that's worth looking at. It's interesting that he didn't say anything about Clayton Oliver. Um, but again, Luke Jackson, if you're not picking Gorn, you've got that spare cash and you want a rookie to make you some money. Um, and then, yeah, that was basically... And those couple of rookies... Uh, who's this Tomlinson? Nah, must be another guy that um, got picked up in the... Rookie draft. 
Um, but yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. It was just something fun to look at and something interesting as well. Um, so he's back in Petraka and yeah, those couple of rookies that he suggested. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.